We see the effects of global climate change in our communities. The image of troops the world. at rice distribution Record centers climate. is fast becoming a regular sight Top in Asia. In the West Many countries country these mean are that extraordinary. Nearly 20% times. of children are suffering from malnutrition. And these are among the extraordinary opportunities the world faces today. On our earth and beyond, global vision and solutions are found in controlled environments agriculture. Its roots deep in land grant and desert traditions of the University of Arizona. Dr. Cherry Kubota, CEAC plant scientist on efficient like resource use. And my research is looking at what is the optimum range of, for example, temperature, or what is the optimum range of uh, light intensity to maximize the um, plant performance. Plant performance can be um, yield or quality of the product, such as food. For any food produced to support life, efficiency is only part of the story. Dr. Pat Rohrabau on practice yeah, for sustainability. We are looking at controlled environment agriculture, we're looking at hydroponics, we're growing whole plants. There's a lot of, of experimentation right now, so you always need to, to take what people have done in the laboratory and move it into practice, and that's, and that's what we do. These are among the keys CEAC Applied Research has found as it moves to support life for space travel sponsored by NASA and the National Science Foundation. That research began with greenhouse applications to feed the South Pole Station in the ice desert of Winter's Dark. Lane Patterson controls South Pole food production from CEAC awesome. in Arizona. <laughs> it's kind of bright in here. <laughs> we can look at how the chamber's doing through our control system. It's a window, it's a window into South Pole. Other new windows open by integrating people and emerging precision technologies using an international and interdisciplinary vision on applied global science for faculty, students, and the practice of controlled environments agriculture. Dr. Murat Kassira brings a keen, fresh perspective to CEAC's work. Precision agriculture is very important, in, especially in field operations, but we're interested in precision farming or smart technologies in controlled environment applications as well. If we can combine growers' experiences with intelligence sensing and monitoring, we can establish better quality in crop production and optimized resource use efficiency. As important as technology hardware has become, the science of food production advances. Dr. Kevin Fitzsimmons on international multi-crop aquaponics. And aquaponics is a special case of integrating aquaculture with hydroponics, where we're growing vegetables, uh, things like cabbage, lettuce, bok choy, um, in conjunction with fish. Dr. Cheeto Sase found that by putting this freshwater shrimp into the hydroponic bed, he actually improved the growth of the hydroponic vegetables. It improved the water quality. And now we were getting a third crop out of this system. So the more living organisms we will put to the system, I think it would add diversity and stability to the system. What we need to do for the rest of the planet now is to model that so that we can feed the planet without trashing it. Controlled environment agriculture can make it possible for each of us on Earth to have efficient, sustainable, and abundant food, air, and water for life. It is service to those who live and produce food on Earth that drives CEAC to realize ways to carry life on to the moon, Mars, or wherever people will go for each person who leads us beyond Earth's sheltering skies. Dr. Jean Giacomelli leads the University of Arizona, CEAC. The goal is to sustain one person indefinitely by recycling the nutrients, the water, and providing energy, say, from the sun to grow the plants, to make the oxygen, to make the fresh water, and life goes on and on and on. Solutions for living on our challenged planet are found in imaginative use of the future Controlled Environment Agriculture Center is unique to help feed this world, precisely because its work will feed those who go beyond the ordinary, those who will go 
to the stars. Controlled Environment Agriculture Center at the University of Arizona.